Kelly and Bolden for the tip. And we are off and running here at the Expo. Marcus Garrett, the point guard, out of Kansas, his third G League season. Picking up their second one there, but they're able to stretch the floor out and keep him away, and he's helping. Bank is open on a Sunday for R.J. Hunter. Walsh, the trailer, on the drive, catch and shoot. Tony Snell knocks down a three. Now 18 blocks on the season for D.J. Stewart. Davison, attack mode, float game, and the foul. He can lob it, he can finish it himself as well. Today now, and the Celtics lead 11 to eight. JD was just six of 19 from the floor Thursday night. Bat of the way by Banks, numbers for the Celtics. Feed back to Walsh! On Thursday, it was 0 for four. Has his sights on getting back to the NBA his last season in the 21-22 year with the LA Lakers. Peterson stops on the dime, hits it from the nail. Garrett, the starting point guard. Pinball's out. Outlet, black, three, got it. On the offensive end, three-pointer off the mark. Greensboro remains cold. Five of their six field goals are from deep. It makes you wonder where they would be. Kyler Kelly! <laughs> the Dark Knight, Kelly. With the stretch, Stewart finds him. Look out below. Peterson pushes tempo, slips it into Stewart. Nicely oh. done on the break yeah. by the main look. Celtics. It's only the second Garrett well. so stuck in traffic, knocked away. Drew time. Peterson. <laughs> I'll come up with some stuff at halftime. Sure, just put me on the spot some more. <laughs> Midway through the second, Celtics up 44-25. Lob time! First one of the night. From Maine today, and you got the UMaine women's basketball team that's going to be announced their destination for the NCAA women's tournaments going on, the Maine hockey. The speed that Maine wants to play right now. No kidding. No lead is safe. It can be made up in a hurry, especially those one-for-two free throws. Slater with Maine's first points of the second half. A disconnection there defensively. But they get away with it. Double team on Davison so he cannot initiate offense. As we approach eight to go in the third, 61-42. Stewart denied by Hunter. Has made one today. Still working on that jumper. Again, this is a developmental league at the end of the day. But want to cash in and rack up some W's and make a postseason push. Davison attacks, created the separation. Having his hands everywhere, and he's my player of the game right now. 13 second chance points for Maine. Garrett piles those two points right back on. Built a 23 point lead at halftime. Davison puts the head down, kicks it out, Hobson. Scotty Hobson with the left. Nothing there. Banks, cleanup on Isle Green. Just a great, great game by James Banks. <laughs> Eight points, seven boards. Once again, an answer by Terrell Brown Jr. Jeremiah Tillman backs down on the NBA G League's leading shot blocker, slippery off the ball, Garrett. Here in Maine, G League basketball today on NBA TV, one of two games going down today. Mexico City and Iowa coming up next from the Wells Fargo Arena. Numbers here. Greensboro did a good job getting back. Peterson picks up the dribble and throws it away. Celtics are discombobulated in the second half. Brown finishes plus a foul. Banks knocked him on the shoulder. Favors you in the long run. I get it. It's just not their game, though. In the half court, right? Like, right. keep the ball moving and keep your bodies moving. JD sizes up and flexes on Walker. Well, Maine deters that possession from Greensboro. Hunter now 3 of 10 from deep, 18 points. Stewart is doubled and lost it. 
or pardon me, Davison lost it. Hunter lobs and Garrett lays it in. As we approach five minutes to play, Sims pulls up. Hustle on the old glass by Tillman, finds Hunter. Lays it home, plus the harm. I'd like to see Maine take a little more pride right now in these last few minutes of the offensive glass. When a shot goes up, we need to see green shirts getting there. Sideline to sideline, JD follows the Slater miss. Like that. With 20 plus points. Looks a lot more like himself today. Banks got a piece, but he did get the rest of Tillman of hope for the Swarm. Get him? Yeah, I guess. Eight rebounds, three steals, eight points. That's what you need from a guy coming off the bench on the five spot. Because the defense is going to get too tough here. See if there's purpose. Sims got hit by Peterson. He got the spot. Couldn't hit. Loose ball. Stewart's follow. Goes! T.J. Stewart, a quiet second half. He's got 20 points for the eighth straight game. It's been red hot and excellent in crunch time. Tillman has erupted here in the fourth. One last stand on the defensive end, and the main Celtics get back on the right track. They had won six games in a row.